Saint Elmo, or Erasmus, Bishop and Martyr. Saint Erasmus, or Saint Elmo, formerly widely venerated as the patron of sailors and as one of the 14 holy helpers, is joined with the above martyrs in the Mass and office of the Western Church today. In the Acta Sanctorum, he is described as Bishop of Formia in the Campagna, and we know from St. Gregory the Great that his relics were preserved in the cathedral of that town in the 6th century. When Formia was destroyed by the Saracens in 842, the body of St. Erasmus was translated to Gaeta, of which city he still remains a principal patron. Nothing is actually known of his history, his so-called acts being late compilations based on legends which confuse him with a namesake, a martyr bishop of Antioch. According to the oldest of these spurious biographies, St. Erasmus of Formia was a Syrian bishop who, during the persecution under Diocletian, fled to Mount Lebanon, where he lived as a solitary and was fed by a raven. He was discovered, paled before the emperor, beaten with whips and lead-loaded clubs, and rolled in pitch, which was then ignited. As he remained unhurt, he was cast into prison to be starved to death. An angel, however, released him and conveyed him to the Roman province of Illyricum. There, he effected numerous conversions, but was subjected to other tortures, including the iron chair and a red-hot cuirass. The angel again saved him and brought him to Formia, where he died of his wounds. In Belgium, France, and elsewhere, St. Erasmus is popularly represented with a large aperture in his body, through which his intestines have been wound, or are being wound, round a windlass which stands beside him. He is accordingly invoked against cramp and colic, especially in children. There is nothing in the legendary history of St. Erasmus of Formia to connect him with that particular form of torture. The blue lights, sometimes seen at mastheads before and after storms, were reckoned by Neapolitan seamen as signs of their patron's protection and were called by them St. Elmo's Fire. There is no reasonable doubt that the appellation St. Elmo or St. Thelmo, etymologically derived from St. Erasmus, which became Aramis, then Ermus, and finally Ermo. From this we get Elmo, just as Catalina comes from Katharina. Now, the blue electrical discharges, which, under certain atmospheric conditions, are seen on the mast or rigging of ships, were formerly called St. Elmo's Lights because St. Erasmus, honored at first as the patron of mariners, was believed to manifest his protection in this manner after the storm had passed. But when Portuguese sailors adopted Blessed Peter Gonzalez as their patron, the St. Elmo Lights became Peter's Lights, and to the sailors of that nation he became the true St. Elmo. The parish church of the little port of Faversham in Kent had before the Reformation an altar of St. Erasmus, and it is said that no one died who had anything to give, but he left a legacy to maintain the lights which burnt about it. The most widely circulated text of the legendary story of St. Erasmus is printed with other materials in the Acta Sanctorum, June. Volume 1. A more complete list of this mythical narrative is furnished in other sources. Confusion has arisen from the identification at a later period of the sailor's patron, St. Elmo, with the Dominican, Blessed Peter Gonzalez. See April 14th. There can be little doubt that St. Erasmus really existed, however improbable the legends which subsequently were recounted concerning him. His name is commemorated 
in the Hieromium Yenum, as also in the failure of Oengus. And his story is told in the Old English Martyrology of the 9th century. For the confusion between St. Erasmus and St. Agapetus of France under the name Agripart or Agrapu, see the paper in Etudes de Histoire et de Archaeologie Nemerois, 1952, by Father Gapier, who kindly supplied this editor with an off print. St. Erasmus or Elmo Feast Day, June 2nd, from The Lives of the Saints by Alban Butler, Complete Edition, Reprinted, 1981. Christ our King, Thy Kingdom Come, 